for September 12, 2022. The weather forecast calls for a afternoon high of 83 degrees and sunny. Tonight we can expect a low of 55 degrees. Tomorrow you can expect a high of 90 degrees and sunny. Let's start out with good things. My good thing is that me and my friend get to go to a Chargers vs. Chiefs game. Harper, what is your good thing? My good thing is uh, last Friday we ran the Pacer test. Over the weekend, there were many birthdays we missed. Happy birthday to Trinity Gardner, happy Shaylin Hyson, Cece Bonds. Happy also, happy birthday to happy Madeline birthday, Walker and birthday, Aubrey Mendez. Yesterday, we celebrated the 21st anniversary of the attacks of September 11th. Here's a short video about it and what some of our staff was doing at the time. September 11th started as a regular Tuesday. People headed to work and school across the eastern United States. On that day, 19 men from a terrorist group called Al-Qaeda boarded four planes, along with regular passengers. They planned to hijack the planes. Okay. What is a terrorist group? And what does hijack mean? Great questions. A terrorist is a terrible person who does terrible things. Terrorists try to scare people into doing things they don't want to do, and they use violence against other people who don't believe the same things that they do. And hijack? Hijack means to take over by force. So in this case, the terrorists on 9-11 took over planes by force so that they could hurt a lot of people. What did they do when they took over the planes? Instead of flying the people and the planes safely to a new place, the terrorists crashed the planes into three buildings, the two World Trade Center towers in New York City and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. The twin towers of the World Trade Center complex were the tallest buildings in New York City. They were built to bring the world together and to peace through trade. They stood tall as a center of finance in the United States. The Pentagon is the headquarters of the United States military, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. The terrorists wanted to attack the United States at landmarks that symbolized our financial and military systems because they wanted to damage America's strength as a global leader. And people died? Yes, everyone on each of the three planes, plus many people in the buildings. But you said four planes. The people on the fourth plane were all real-life heroes, too. They stood up to the hijackers to prevent them from taking control of the plane. But it still crashed in a field in Pennsylvania, in a town called Shanksville. Nobody knows where the terrorists wanted that plane to crash. In total, 2,977 innocent people died that day as a result of the four attacks. Promi's right. I don't know why we should remember this day. It's so sad. Pia, I understand how you're feeling, but even though sometimes things make us sad, it is important to remember everyone who stepped up to protect our freedom. But why? Well, remember when my grandma died last year? Yeah? I loved her. And even though I'm really sad that she's gone, do you think it would be better if I forgot her or chose not to remember her? No. Of course you should remember her. She was so nice and special and, oh, I guess I kind of see your point. But 9-11 seems like it was really scary. I like to forget scary things. 9-11 was scary. But Pia, always remember that love is stronger than fear. Even though the terrorists tried to scare everyone, real-life superheroes looked fear in the face and said, not today. Hey Oak Street kids, I'm Mrs. Keck, second grade teacher. Can you believe 21 years ago, I was a junior in high school. On a September 11th, I was in speech class 
and the Channel One News is what we used to watch came on when we found out about the Twin Towers. Hey Oak Street, it's Coach Lynn. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience 21 years ago for September 11th. I was in eighth grade in my first hour class and we just turned on the TV and were watching it all day and just in super awe of it. It was just the craziest thing that had ever happened in my lifetime for sure. So fast forward about a year and a half from then, uh, March of 2003, I got to actually go to New York City and uh, see Ground Zero. Um, the hotel that we were staying in was about a block away from there. So at that time, everything was cleaned up, but it was still just a ginormous hole in the ground. I'm Mrs. Johnson and I teach fourth grade. I will never forget September 11th. I was in eighth grade social studies class and that was before we had computers in all of our rooms and things like that. So uh, kind of the teachers were talking in the hallways and things like that, which was kind of unusual. And then our social studies teacher rolled in the TV cart and we actually watched one of the planes hit one of the buildings and it was really shocking and kind of crazy. We didn't really quite understand what was going on, if it was an accident or what had happened. So we all watched it happen and then we watched the buildings collapse. We kind of stayed in that social studies room for most of the morning, I think. I don't think we really moved around the building much after that, but um, I'll never forget that moment. Hi, I'm Miss Carol from the kitchen, the lunch lady. Um, so on September 11th of 2001, I was 31 years old and I was staying at home with Dane. He was a year and I was pregnant with my second. And uh, I had got up, started breakfast, and I went to watch the Today Show. Um, and they had a film of the Twin Tower in New York and there was smoke coming out of the first building. And they were talking about, it seems like it was a small plane that that's what we're hearing. I'm not sure how they missed the, the building because it was such a clear and bright day. Um, and so they're commentating about all of this, trying to figure out what's going on. And not too long later, there's film and I see the second plane go into the building and a flurry of fire and smoke and so everybody at that point is kind of freaking out on TV and um, I just sit there and I watch it for probably the whole day but I just remember just being heartbroken in tears not sure what's going on and all the talk about the other planes and their um, you know dispatching F-16s um, it was just really really traumatic and sad and Hi, I'm Mrs. Landau. I teach third grade here at Oak Street. 21 years ago, I was teaching second grade here at Oak Street. It was my first year here, and things were going on, and I didn't really know about it till I, the kids came in, and they were talking about it, and I told them, oh, let's, let's get our work done. We needed to get to PE. So I got the kids to PE, went into the teacher's lounge, and that's when I saw on our little bitty TVs that were hanging from the ceiling and saw what was going on. There was not a sound in the lounge. Not one teacher was saying a word, and you could tell that we were all very awestruck by what happened. Hello, I'm Jennifer, and I am Miss Jennifer, and I'm up from um, in the office. Um, when I was 33 years old um, in 2020 in 2001 with 9/11, um, and I do remember watching it on TV as it was actually happening. I was actually getting ready for work that morning. Um, but my daughter, she was a first grader here at Oak Street Elementary, um, and she was in Mrs. Miller's class. Um, what I remember most about that day was how the country had come afterwards, how the country had come together to support each other and all the pride that was felt in the United States. Um, my mom and daughter and I um, were lucky enough to go to New York City about eight years later. Um, they were not done with the monument yet, but we really hope to go back in the future to be able to see it. Thanks to all the staff who participated in the short video. This week's Tiger Ticket Prize is for your whole family called Family Talk. There are 100 questions that are portable and thought-provoking. Since we don't have school this Friday, the drawing will be on Thursday. Oh, for lunch today in the cafeteria serving grilled chicken sandwich, peppers, and celery. 
carrots, applesauce, ice cold milk. For breakfast tomorrow, we will have mini sennies, cereal, or pop tart, juice, and fruit. Ice cold milk. Here's a look for our of the day. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because he was stuffed. <laughs> what do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Yeah, I'm nacho cheese. Please take a look at your lunch for today. Great day, Oak Street Tigers. Now will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance?